Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my Bond from Scratch videos. Uh, we're going to be doing another pay to play one today since you guys did seem to enjoy the last one. Uh, once again, we are going to be giving away the Bond, so to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed, uh, leave a comment in the video section, and toss a like. And that is all, guys. So, hope you enjoy the video, and let's get started. So, for those of you who watched my last episode of To Bond from Scratch, or whatever you want to call it, uh, you may remember this account. It's my Level 3 To Bond account. Now, it is not at level 3 anymore, unfortunately. Um, but it is very low level. Honestly, all it has is some magic levels and HP levels, and that's pretty much it. Any of the stats are negligible. Uh, as far as inventory, nothing in the inventory. Bank, uh, we just have some useless items and some untradeable things like a looting bag. That might come in handy. Um, but yeah, so pretty much wipe the account, nothing on it, and we're going to start fresh. Now, we have an hour, uh, timer set for 10 hours. Um, hopefully, it won't take that long, but we're not going to want it to take longer than that or we may just give up. So, without further ado, let's get started. So again, once again, we will... Again, once again, we will need an item. Uh, so we're just going to kind of pick up some random stuff off the ground. Beer glass, probably worthless, but we'll pick it up anyway. Because uh, we literally have zero GP. We need something to sell on the Grand Exchange. And, uh, well, ashes, I guess that'll do. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to require a lot less money than the previous time we did this. Uh, actually, this is selling for a decent amount. 705 coins, that's nice. Ashes, sell those off. Just quickly do a scan to see if anything's else in the Grand Exchange. And doesn't look like it. So that's a good starter cash base. Uh, really only took 20 seconds without a beer glass. Maybe we're going to stick here and pick up a few more just because they do seem to be worth actually a good amount. And we'll get up to about 1k. And that'll be perfect to start with our second method. Alright, so we have 727 coins and we managed to pick up a couple more beer glasses and um, a couple ashes and a cocktail glass that was worth fuck all but that's okay we got 1.5k that is good so we're gonna go ahead and start off by buying some law runes uh, just for a couple teleports that we're gonna want now we're gonna buy six uh, we don't need actually much money to buy the item from the store although uh, we will go for five uh, so we'll need a little bit more money for air runes so we'll get about 20 air runes and we'll need a water rune we'll buy four five water runes and a uh, fire rune or two just to get back to the rock this is pretty important otherwise we gotta walk back and waste a whole bunch of time that'll leave us with 384 coins that should be good gonna bank most of this stuff here uh, actually we only need to bank our fire runes because we won't need those right now and we're gonna teleport to Falador and we're gonna first off run to the herb lore shop and buy the pestle and mortar from the herb lore shop. Uh, one of you may have, some of you may have noticed uh, that I actually did make a quick video kind of related to that a while ago. Uh, if you have a look at the herb lore shop, you can see that the pestle and mortar are worth 492 coins roughly and they buy for about five. Now this is a really easy way to get cash early in the game when you don't have very much money. Clearly only have 462 coins. So we're going to give that a shot and do a couple inventories. Alright guys, so we're at Jagex's, or Jagex, what is his name? Jatix, Jatix, very close. Uh, we're at his uh, Herbler shop and we're just buying out the Pestle and Mortars. Uh, there's three in each world and then we're just going to hop. Uh, this is our fourth inventory so far. So we used up every single rune so far except for the one we'll use to get back to Varrock. And this should be pretty much it. Uh, we're about 20 minutes in so far. Alright, that's good. Uh, we got probably close-ish to 100. And then we'll go back to Varrock, and we'll see how much these actually sell for. They usually sell for close to four to five hundred, uh, which would be pretty nice. That would be uh, about forty k, uh, which will help us quite a bit to start off a couple other money makers. The next one we're gonna try is buying uh, closing items from the Gnome Tree Stronghold, uh, the Grand Tree to be precise, is where it is. Now I've done this once before, and uh, since they sell clue scroll required items. Uh, they can actually sell for up to a K per boot you buy, so it's actually pretty nice. Anyway, we're back to the Grand Exchange. So, uh, we'll withdraw 95 Pestle and Mortars, and we'll go ahead and just sell one of these so far. Wait a sec. <laughs> I did not crank that the right way. Uh, sell it. See how low it sells for. 445, that's pretty good. We'll try... Well, actually I'm pretty happy with that. We'll just sell the one now, just in buy one back, just to see if we wouldn't get a better price otherwise. 
pestle and mortar, and they are, if we wait, going to sell for four ninety one. All right, we'll just sell those off then for four forty five. And yeah, that looks good. Okay, we sold most of them, or half of them anyway. So that is 16k we can get there, nice. And now we're going to move on to the next method. Okay, so we finally got to the Gnome Stronghold. Now, how we got here was by pulling the Ardune lever, or the um, Edgeville lever, going to the wilderness, and then teleporting back to Ardune, and walking is pretty far away, unfortunately. <laughs> There's no quicker way. But anyway, we made it to the Tree Gnome Stronghold, so we're at the Grand Tree. So what we're looking for is just on the first floor of the Grand Tree. Uh, we'll have to go grab some money first. Uh, so the bank's just down here. Hopefully nothing is locked. Okay, so we have 18k cash after selling off, uh, well, the majority of our mortars. Pastel mortar. And all we're going to do is run up here. And there should be another gnome around here called Rometi or... Well, anyway, he owns a clothes shop. What is it? Yeah, Rometi. And what we're going to be buying are some of these fashionable fine fashionable items. Uh, what we're going to be buying are the blue boots, the green boots, and the green robe top. Um, we used this just by looking on GE Tracker to see which ones were worth the most and sold more consistently, like 300 every day. It's pretty consistent, honestly. So green robe top, green boots, and blue boots. These are clue scroll items that you need, uh, so they are definitely worth buying. So we're looking for the green robe top, was it? Green robe top, in blue and green boots. So we're definitely just gonna go ahead and buy five of these, and five of these, and five of these. So we're getting a ton of items per world, and then we're just going to hop. So we we'll only have to do two world hops, roughly, and to fill up our inventory, which is awesome. And uh, well, once again, buy all the green robe tops. I think these are worth the most, and then blue and green boots are pretty similar. But anyway, two world hops, and we already filled out our inventory. Uh, if we price check it now, well, we're somewhere between 35k. And yeah, we're just going to bank it. We'll use our money up very quickly, but we'll probably come back and do some more runs of this. Okay, we're on the last of our cash. Uh, we only have 657 coins left. Going to buy the rest of the green rope tops. That's all we can afford, guys. So we're going to run back and uh, bank us all. Uh, it only took probably like four minutes to buy out this shop. Or buy out all our cash worth of items anyway. Uh, we didn't have very much cash. But anyway, we'll go ahead and sell this. The only problem with this is currently it's a pain in the ass to get back here. So that is a little bit of an issue. But either way, we'll teleport back to Varrock. And we might as well just withdraw the items out while we're here. Blue boots and green boots. So I think we should be getting close to 100k in profit here. Well, I don't know about profit. Let's just price check this for you guys quickly. Uh, it says 76k. Make it more, make it less. We'll have to see. Uh, we have about... Well, about 100 quantity of items, and uh, well, yeah, they probably won't go for 1k each, but still, uh, only took me like 5 minutes, honestly, so quick. Uh, now, we do have to be careful, because these don't sell, they do sell a fair amount, but they're not going to instantly sell by any means. And we'll get our money out, because we might need that as well. <laughs> 113 coins, never mind. Anyway, so let's go ahead and sell, hey, we got all the pestle and mortar sold, nice, that's another 22k there. And we'll go ahead and sell one of these off. See what price we sell it for. Looks like for 766 coins. And uh, green robe top. Is it worth waiting? Um, we'll just sell these off for 766. That's fine with me. 25k there. And uh, blue boots. Are going to be selling for 764 that is good with me going to be another 25k there and green boots are going to be selling for uh, 668 that is fine as well so uh, unfortunately these haven't sold too much oh, we got more there actually uh, so we have another 36k, that's probably worth going back and uh, buying some more of these, because overall we're probably going to get, well, yeah, close to 75k in that, and it only took like 5 minutes to buy all those items. Uh, so I think that's pretty reasonable, we'll go back and do at least one more run and then move on to something else. 
Okay, so we finished up a couple of inventories here and uh, kind of just coming to realize that these might not sell that quickly. So we're going to go ahead and just bank this and uh, just finish this up for that method. Uh, really good when you're just starting off a brand new account uh, because there's no requirements. It is a pain to get here, but the items are pretty cheap and you get a really good return on them. Uh, but anyway, we will need a little bit of cash to start the next one. And uh, unfortunately, it will take a while to sell. Of course, we are going to be here for a while, so they should sell in time. Uh, what we're going to do next is actually kill Lava Dragons. Uh, on top of that, we're also going to pick White Berries. Uh, the majority of the profits going to come from the White Berries, but uh, killing the Lava Dragons also has a chance of getting something good. Either you can get the Onyx Bolt Tips or really any alcohol is good as well. Uh, so we'll just withdraw all of these items as well. going to be another 100k roughly worth of items once they sell off. I'll uh, we'll put them in there for 766 as well. That's perfect. And Bobby's in for 763. Honestly, we should probably just <laughs> make another offer slot. Uh, pop those in for 668. And do 667. Uh, just for the funds. And um, wait, where's our money? <laughs> there we go. Uh, so what we're going to need is we already have the looting bag, which is nice. Uh, we're going to need a Staff of Fire. Staff of Fire. Going to need a Wizard Robe. Wow, that didn't... <laughs> wizard Robe. And that's a kind of expensive too. And uh, yeah, so we'll go... Anyway, we'll just go buy the items we need just to get a basic mage set up. Not a whole lot, just a bit of magic bonus. So we can go range our mage uh, some of the Lava Dragons and grab the Looting Bag. And uh, we'll go and start the method. Alright guys, so we're out here in the wilderness killing lava dragons. This is kind of risky, but of course, we're in the newbies gear possible, so we're not really risking a lot. So you might notice what we're doing is we're attacking twice, and then we're going to pick up the white berry. And occasionally we're going to toss them into our bag, which unfortunately can't do perfectly on the tick. But either way, uh, you're not missing much by picking up the white berries, or you're not missing much by attacking the lava dragons. Uh, so you're not really missing much out at all, and we're going to get an extra... 15 to 20k a trip because we'll get one lava dragon kill per trip even with fire strike even with terrible magic levels you'll eventually get a kill and we'll be back once uh, well i guess we'll do this for an hour to start with okay so here's the first uh, loot we got uh one other thing worth mentioning is that having a very low combat level is so useful here because right now all i have is 51 magic and that's all uh, so my combat level is really low comparative to my stats uh, or at least to my combat magic level. Uh, so I saw about three PKers, but they're all level 90 plus, even 100 plus. So honestly, none of them could attack me. So it's extremely useful. Probably not even going to have to worry about PKers for this account in particular. And uh, yeah, so definitely if you're low level, go ahead and do it. Uh, as far as what we got in loot, we got about uh, 65k. And that took about 8, 10 minutes. Probably could do that a little quicker. Uh, but of course, we are recording and everything makes it a little bit slower so we could probably get that down to about eight minutes so 60k in eight minutes is pretty good that's gonna be 500 600k an hour and yeah so we'll go ahead and do this for the first hour and then we'll come back and show you the loot and then we may even do it for a second hour okay guys we're just finishing up our hour of killing lava dragons and picking up the white berries uh we stayed for an extra couple kills <laughs> well i guess one extra kill uh we managed to get 10 well this will be our 10th kill in an hour uh it's pretty damn slow uh, but, uh, well, we got the white berries anyway. We probably got close to 400 white berries. And I think our looting bag is full, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Whoopsies. Uh, that was a mistake. Anyway, we will just have to pick up a couple more white berries. Uh, but we're just about to get the last, last Lava Dragon kill. I thought I'd get it on film. Uh, because they take a fuck long time to kill, unfortunately. What are we going to get? And more adamant bars. Meh. Not very good, but at least that fills up all our inventory slots. And yeah, we're going to hike it out of here, and we'll see how much we actually got in one hour, see all the loot. Okay, so we're back at the Grand Exchange. Uh, so first of all, let's just look at our exchange. It uh, looks like the blue boots have all sold, and uh, I thought those would sell first. Um, the green rope tops are still in the process of selling, uh, well, 16k more of those, and the green boots are coming through. Uh, not super quick, but that is 77k, honestly, right there, which is pretty good. Now, for what we got from Lava Dragons, we actually got 350 on the dot white berries. And we got 10 kills, so let's draw the bones, the lava scales, rune javelins, and rune darts. We got a couple of those. Rune kite shield, renar, and uh, dragon javelins, I guess, were the 
best drop we got, honestly. Not that good. Wait, is there stuff in the looting bag still? Ah, okay. Forgot things in the looting bag. Whoops. Uh, so I'll deposit those. I guess we got a little bit more than 350. 378, it looks like. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. Considering we didn't even get a rare drop at all, we didn't get the Onyx Bolt tips uh, or anything like that. I'd say that's a pretty good run. We'll definitely just going to insta-sell things for now, and the rest of these things are going to get sold off. So that's actually really good. The Lava Dragons, actually killing them probably buffed the Moneymaker by an extra 200k an hour or something like that. And uh, we didn't even get a good drop, so that's very good. Collect, and 681k. Normally you'd get about 500k uh, just picking the White Berries, so definitely going to continue doing this. That's going to bring our total cash stack up to... About 761k, which is pretty good. I mean, we're two and a half hours in, uh, but finally we got the good money maker. We're gonna go ahead and do one more hour of this and see where we're at. We are back, and I do realize it's been two hours. Uh, we did have a bit of a change of heart. What we ended up doing was just just picking the white berries. Uh, the reason I did that is because I wanted to see the difference in the GP per hour compared to when you're killing the lava dragons versus when you're not killing them. Uh, when you are killing them, I got about 700k. Now, in the two hours it's been, I managed to get 776 white berries. So let's see how much those are worth. And uh, we will kind of need to sell them off quick, but we will maybe price check uh, them first. Just if there's a major difference, we may wait. But otherwise, we're going to insta sell them. Because uh, that's a fair amount of our cash jack, just some white berries there. And actually, we got some money in the green boots and the green rope tops. Almost sold off. So white berries. And they are going for... 1349 into what we would insta sell them for is roughly 1255. So it's a fair difference. Uh, so we'll put them in, in there for 1348 for now. I've given this about 1 mil in profit, so about 500k an hour versus 700k an hour. I would say it's worth uh, fire striking the uh, lava dragons, but that's just me. So we'll just wait for these to sell because they should sell pretty quick. Okay, we're back, and the white berries did sell. Uh, it took about 10 minutes. And uh, I wouldn't normally do this, but it, they didn't take long to sell, and I'd say it's worth having the cash. So we can start the next method, which is going to be a classic one, uh, but buying um, green dragon hides and tanning them. Uh, easy, 400, 500k an hour, uh, no requirements except for money, of course. So what you need is green dragon hide, of course, and uh, green dragon hide. I'm gonna buy and sell one. So 1745, and. 1730 ads. Yeah, I guess we'll wait. I uh, guess we'll buy. Uh, for 17, is the 15 coins worth it? I would say no. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and uh, buy it for 17.45 uh, because the time is not going to be worth the wait, I don't think. Now, we couldn't quite do 1k. I'm going to do 900 because you do need some coins left over to actually tan them. So, 17.46. There we go. Insta bot. And uh, we will also want a Ring of Dueling. And I believe a Stamina Potion will probably be worth it here. Buy a couple of Stamina Potions. And a few Energy Potions as well. Okay, so we should be all set to go. Just put on our Ring of Dueling. And we're going to start tanning the hides. So I guess we might as well bring an inventory with us. Uh, but it's honestly just the easiest thing in the world. We're going to go to Alcarid. And from here, we're just going to run south towards the agility shortcut here and the tannery or the tanning station or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to run in here and we'll just do a before and after check just to see what how profitable it is right now. Uh, so before, get that map out of the way, our profit is going to be 302k and change. And so if we trade, and create all green dragonide. Our inventory is going to be worth 308.351. And just to check again, so we're at the bank, and we'll just check price check an inventory of um, the tanned hide. So 52 and 500. And before the coin or the dragon hide is going to be worth. Forty-six, five forty plus a little bit of coins, of course, but that is a decent amount per run. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Um, well, we'll can all these hides, and we'll be back in a minute. 
so luckily we can uh, pretty much insta sell and insta buy the green dragon leather so we're not wasting too much time in the grand exchange uh, because we don't have enough money to do this for a full hour we only took 20 minutes to tan all these dragon hides uh, so we did all 900 and uh, we'll be netting I guess about 200k in profit there and we also did sell off the green boots and the green robes so we're at about 2 mil so we're gonna go ahead and repeat this at least two more times uh, because we need probably 2.5 mil to 2.6 mil to buy a bond so we'll go ahead and buy some more green dragon hide I guess this time we can afford a bit more green dragon hide and we're gonna insta buy it again uh, probably don't need to go that high and we'll do 1,000 this time 1,000 this time there we go bought them all for 17.45 perfect same price as last time and we'll go ahead and tan them all uh, so I ended up doing the green dragon hides all the way to the bond if we have a look at my history here uh, we can see that we bought uh, green dragon hides for 1944 uh, sorry that's what we sold them for. We bought them for 1970 and sold them for 1944. And we did this, well, there's the first 900 we sold, and then 1,000, 1,000, so that's one run of 1,000, and two runs of 1,000. And now we just did one of 1,200. We're gonna go back and sell it, and hopefully we'll have enough for a bond. I can't really tell. 1944, will they sell for that much? Yes. So that's 2549. I don't know if that's actually enough or not. All right, we got some stamina in the bank. We're gonna liquidate everything we have that's of any value. We got glory, and I guess that's about it. So we'll go ahead and sell that stuff off. Maybe it'll be enough. I think bonds are between 26 and 2.6 and 2.7 mil. So maybe we could snag one for the lower end. So after all said and done, our final cash stack is 25.86. Let's just see if we can snag one for 25.86. Otherwise, we may have to do a flip or two. 25.86. Can we get the bond? No, we cannot. All right, we're going to have to do a flip. All right, we have a flip coming through. Uh, just some Snapdragon seeds. Uh, we bought them for uh, 2.197, and we're going to sell them for 2.234. It's only a 30k flip. But, uh, well, let's try to buy the bond again. <laughs> Maybe that was just enough. I doubt it, because the uh, actually trade price is much higher. 2629, any luck on 2629? Doesn't look like it. We'll have to go for another flip. All right, guys. I think this might be it. Man, am I getting tired, but I think this final flip should be enough. We got a really nice flip on both strings. We bought them for 1249 and we're selling them for 1416 That is amazing. 2796 please be enough for a bond or I'm gonna freak out 2796 please hit me up with that bond yeah there it is finally we bought for 2680 and that's it guys so I really hope you enjoyed again there is gonna be a giveaway for the bond so don't forget to enter uh, and I hope you have a wonderful night bye